Hello everyone, my name is Brian Thomas and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today's video, just as you all read it, it is called Introduction to Data Science. So today's video, we will be covering what exactly is data science, what is machine learning, what is deep learning, what is artificial intelligence, what are neural networks that come under deep learning, what is data science, where is it used, how does it affect us, what is the benefit we are going to get from data science, and the same goes for machine learning, artificial intelligence, deep learning. So I have often noticed that uh, people are not very familiar with these concepts like data science, machine learning, deep learning, but they hear it from their students, their teachers, their friends or anywhere and they are always confused. You know that uh, what are these people always talking about that what is data science, what is machine learning, what is deep learning? It sounds so complicated, so sophisticated, like big, big concepts and all that. But to be honest, it is not that complicated. It is a little bit easier to understand the concept of data science. What does it do? Where is it being used? How does it affect us? But when it comes to the technical part, it is a little bit complicated to understand. So data science is nothing but where we are extracting a large amount of data. And after extracting, what are we doing? We are going to be, you know, visualizing the data to understand the data much better and we will be applying different algorithms on it to see that, you know, uh, depending on the output we need. So if you want some prediction, we'll use some prediction algorithm. Our model is going to predict using the data it has been trained on that, okay, this is what is going to happen. That is what's going to happen. This is what the customer requires. This is what the customer wants. So let me give you a simple example that where data science is being used and how is it affecting us. Just take Netflix, for example. Okay, the Netflix recommendation system. Netflix is being used by most of us literally every single day. But today, through this video, you will basically understand that how does it recommend us different shows and movies that we see as soon as we open Netflix. Now, okay, this is what is recommended for you. These are the movies that you're going to be seeing. Now, why does that happen? Even same goes for Amazon Prime. How does it recommend these movies for you? So it's basically called a Netflix recommendation system or an Amazon Prime recommendation system. Basically, it's just a recommendation system. So how does it work? It actually collects our data that which series were we watching, which movie did we watch, did we like the movie, did, how much time did we spend on the series, on the movie, did we watch it again, what are the types of movies we are watching, what are the types of series we are watching, how many times are we frequently visiting Netflix, all these kind of questions, it has the data for it. So after collecting the data, something has to be done, right? Yeah. So then once it collects the data, it actually try the people behind the, trying to visualize the data at Netflix, they'll visualize the data, okay, this specific person has an interest towards this kind of series and movies or this kind of series and movies. So why don't we create a model that will recommend automatically that what kind of series and movies this person, specific person might like. So this is what data science comes into picture. Same, absolutely same thing goes for YouTube. As soon as you open YouTube, you see a uh, ton of videos. How does that come? Because they are recommended to you. These are the types of videos that matches the YouTube recommendation system. According to what uh, channels, what content you are consuming on YouTube. That's how it works. Same goes for Spotify. Same goes for Instagram as well. So Instagram, when you open the search button, you see a ton of reels popping up. You see a ton of, you know, pictures, videos, maybe cars, bikes, food, maybe finance, maybe computer related stuff, tech related stuff, could be anything. Now, how all this is happening is only because of the recommendation systems these softwares are using. And all this is possible only through data science. Sounds very interesting, right? It's going to get even more interesting right now. So now, let me come to machine learning. What exactly is machine learning? Now, machine learning is kind of a concept where we are teaching the computer to generalize a certain data. Now, what do I mean by generalize? So if you just take, for example, that how we as humans itself learn the different things around us, how we understand different things around us. <coughs> So we can take object detection as a simple, uh, you know, concept. For example, if I take this phone in my hand, how do I know that this is a phone? Okay, I won't take it in my hand. Like, even if I just look at it from, you know, a distance, 
how do i as a human being realize that this is a phone by looking at the size of it looking at the color of it i can see a small fingerprint sensor here i can see two cameras here that's how basically i can differentiate okay that this is a mobile phone that is being held by another person right here right but how will a computer understand that so we have to uh, train the computer with a lot of images same like a phone so the computer will try to learn okay these are the images that this person is trying to teach me so the computer will memorize the images it will learn it will understand okay this is the height this is the width this is the color uh, all these are the different things parameters that the computer understands of a object and once it understands it we test it when we are testing it we will show the computer okay computer see the, what am i holding so then after learning it will predict okay that this is a mobile phone you are holding so the exact same thing happens in machine learning in machine learning you are trying to teach the computer different data that okay this is the data i am providing you i want you to learn this data and i want you to generalize the data okay after generalizing it will have predictions so like i gave you the phone example i was holding a specific mobile now what if i showed the computer another mobile would it have been able to predict could be yes could be no if no we have to train our model much much better if yes a model is trained pretty well and we can stick to it so that is what i mean by generalization that i train the computer with certain set of images i train the computer with maybe a pictures of 10000 different kinds of mobiles 10000 different kinds of mobiles but while testing it i show it 10 15 phones which i have not trained the computer on that is what generalization means so something that i have learned that okay this is what a mobile phone looks like next time when i see a mobile phone i should be able to say that okay that is also a mobile phone because i learned looking at 10000 images of different mobile phones i can tell okay that also looks like a mobile phone because i have seen 10000 images i can predict that one also looks like a mobile phone same thing for the machine learning algorithms as well so that is what generalization actually means so if even if we can even do predictions on you know the house prices like uh, we can have a lot of data like the house square feet the number of rooms in the house the distant how distant is the house from the city what is the crime rate in the city uh, and all different kinds of data you know different kinds of parameters we can have in our data and we can actually train a model you know what this is all the data we have i want you to learn from it and then i want you to predict these are the uh, predict a house price obviously we will be feeding the model a number of prices of different kinds of houses with all the parameters but when we will ask okay model uh, this is the house i'm giving you these are the different parameters i'm giving you now predict the price of this house then the model should be able to predict we can even check the accuracy of the model we can even check the loss that means how inaccurate it is that's what comes under machine learning now we will see what deep learning is all about deep learning is a subset of machine learning what happens in deep learning is we try to use multiple layers to teach our model that okay this is what the thing is it could be image pre processing it could be object detection it could be anything okay same thing same concept is on a deep learning as well just as the machine learning only the thing is deep learning is a more effective method of predicting than machine learning in deep learning is Uh, usually used for image like a uh, self driving the way tesla uses it that also comes under neural networks and deep learning so just as you all can see that this this video that's actually being played the small clip that is actually being played right here that is what a tesla car sees okay that is one of the cameras that what a tesla car sees it has a total of i think around 4 to 6 cameras and this is what the front camera sees after seeing this is all the number of these are all the different annotations it does on the different objects the machine learning or the deep learning program is able to detect and after detection it applies its program on okay if you see this you can do this if you see that you can do this this is basically what happens in a tesla car this is a small clip and this i have gotten from a channel called wes bard i have the i'll have the link in the description below so in deep learning basically we have something called as neurons just like how we have in our human brain how a human brain thinks firing different neurons in our brain same way we have deep learn in deep learning we have something called neurons so these neurons interact with each other and form a layer many neurons come together to form layers 
and we have multiple layers like this in deep learning to help us for the predictions. So basically this is all for deep learning and I know that all of you all might have found this video valuable. If not, please comment down below how I can improve and if yes, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe and like button. And please do comment below how did you all like the video. <laughs> I spent quite a lot of time editing it and you know to make this video took me quite a long time. It would mean a lot if you all can hit the subscribe and the like button and please please do comment down below how did you all find it. Thank you so much.